Was this question about the boiling point of X versus Y the hardest question on the 2025 AP Chem Free response? For me, this was a difficult question because the structures look so similar. But my answer to this question is yes, I would agree with this student that compound Y does have a higher boiling point due to stronger London dispersion forces. So if we look at these Lewis structures, the only difference between X and Y is the central atom. So in X, I've got a carbon in the middle, and in Y, I've got a silicon in the middle. And what I'm looking at is this bond, silicon to the OH, or to the oxygen. Silicon is less electronegative than carbon, so when we look at this combination of atoms, this will have a greater electronegativity difference. Whereas carbon to oxygen over here, this will give me a lower delta En, or a smaller electronegativity difference. So as a result, I'm going to have a greater dipole in compound Y, a stronger one, that will contribute to a stronger London dispersion force, and that will also contribute to my higher boiling point. That's how I would approach this question. Of course, check the answer key when it does get released. What question did you find the most challenging on the 2025 free response? Let me know in the comments, and thank you very much for watching.